Date, let's go over the facts of the case. Good idea. Hi, my name is Kaname Date. Nice to meet you. What? Date? I have the same name. What a coincidence. Perhaps he's had too much medication. Don't push yourself, Date. No, I'm fine, Date. You do not appear to be fine. Hey, me. Wanna play a game? Sure, let's play I Spy. I spy something round. I eyeball. Correct. I win. I will terminate you. Look, a crazy grandma with a knife is running straight for us. Mm-hmm. Iba, can you give me a timeline of the events of the crime? At once. I wonder who sent that Nile message to Mizuki. Probably the culprit themselves. But Mizuki wouldn't obey the instructions of a complete stranger. Then Mizuki knew her. That's what I'm thinking. Or the suspect used her friend's phone. Iba, can you hack into the phone and find out who sent the Nile message? Nile's security protocols are intricate. It will take time to decipher. The estimated time of death is yesterday, Friday, around 5 p.m. The cause of death is blood loss from multiple stab wounds to the torso. The weapon used to commit the murder is almost certainly the ice pick Mizuki was holding when we discovered her. There were no fingerprints, hair, or other clues left behind by the culprit. The corpse was found tied up on one of the horses of the merry-go-round. This makes it clear that the killer had no intention of hiding their crime. Rather, it appears as though it was displayed deliberately. Our perp wants the limelight. Or is attempting to send some kind of message. When we arrived on the scene, there was no blood on the horse the body was mounted upon. Which means the merry-go-round wasn't the murder scene. Shoko was killed somewhere else and then brought there to be displayed. That means Mizuki couldn't have done it. She's 12. She can't move a body or drive a car. Were you considering her a suspect? That's part of the job. If there's even the slightest possibility. Then this is good news. It means the likelihood of Mizuki being the killer is almost zero. I knew that from the start. She would never put her hands on her own mother. She doesn't have what it takes to commit murder. The corpse was found with her left eye removed. That eyeball has yet to be found. According to Iris' testimony, when Ota first discovered the body, the ice pick was still lodged in the left eye socket. So why did Mizuki have the ice pick? Could she have taken the eye? Perhaps she was playing hide and seek. Hide and seek? It was not a serious suggestion. I was merely joking, as you call it. Oh. 
Yes, as a matter of fact. I checked the surveillance cameras around Bloom Park again, and I noticed something strange. Something strange? There were no cars. Yesterday, in the parking lot and the streets in the vicinity, there was not a single vehicle. Are you sure? I am. Then, how did the suspect move the corpse? I have no idea. Welcome back. I brought her here after her examination was over. Asuki. Has she said anything? No, still can't talk. Was it okay for you to bring her here? I got permission from the hospital. Apparently, the hospital director has been poking a few of the nurses. So I asked him about that and... All of a sudden, he seemed very open to the idea. That's not permission, it's blackmail. Eh, same thing. You know what you need to do now, right? Sync with her. Hey, Pewter, about Iba, could you do something about her personality? Do something about it? It wouldn't kill her to be more modest, maybe a little more ladylike. If you dare reprogram me, I will self-destruct in your eye socket. Huh, <laughs> so you were listening, huh? Her vitals are stable. Her EEG is also stable. I think we can proceed. She's only 12. You sure this is okay? <laughs> the machine is safe. I can guarantee that. You have nothing to worry about. Interesting. This kind of furniture is often used for pile drivers in professional wrestling. Now where on earth did you learn that? Date, look! It's the girl from that horror movie. Coming out of the well. What the hell are you talking about? Searching. Classic. Alternative. Progressive. That's rock. Thank you. 
Renju Okiura is Mizuki's legal guardian. Did you get permission from him? I couldn't get in touch with him. What? I thought he was being questioned by a local unit. His questioning ended around noon. He hasn't been heard from since. Why would he... I don't know. If we don't do it now, then when? This is exactly the kind of situation Abyss was founded for. Besides, if you dive into Mizuki's subconscious, you may be able to help her. Her aphonia is psychogenic. Physically, she's fine. Her injuries are mental. Which is understandable after seeing her mother like that. You may be able to heal her, Date. You just have to sync with her. You're the only one who can. You're asking me that now? I'm asking you to sync with Mizuki because we have no progress. Maybe Mizuki saw something at the scene. Maybe she went inside that merry-go-round to hide. But she isn't answering any questions. The only way to find out is to dive into her subconscious mind. Don't you agree? We are ready to begin. Date, go to the sink room. Got it. Agent Date, Mizuki is reacting. Her heart rate is rising and her brain waves are showing signs of disturbance. She may be getting nervous about the procedure. Date, try to calm her down. How do I do that? It's true that she can't speak to you. But she can hear you. Try talking with her. Sure thing, boss. I'm gonna be inside your head. I'll be looking for clues about the culprit. Not only that, we will also attempt to discover the cause of Mizuki's muteness and rectify it. With her aphonia cured, we can ask her further questions directly. Mizuki, I've never told you this, but... I'm not an ordinary policeman. I belong to a special investigation unit called Abyss. Advanced Brain Investigation Squad. We explore the human mind with state-of-the-art technology and research. There are a billion kinds of suspects and persons of interest out there. People that lie, people that don't say anything. People that have head injuries or some that have deep mental wounds that keep them from talking. So, how do we get clues from these people? We have to get inside their heads. The truth is in their minds. Our job is to find it. I know it looks scary, but trust me, there's nothing to be afraid of. There's no pain, no side effects. When this is all over, you'll go back to your regular life like this never happened. Sinking is what we call diving into someone's subconscious mind. You sink deep down into their psyches, and you synchronize with their true selves. People like me are called sinkers. Sinkers enter the subject's subconscious which is a dream-like state we call Somnium. It's Latin for dream. There are six sinkers at Abyss. I'm one of them. Hey, Mizuki. When this is all over, what should I say?
Hey, remember when we went last time? You were laughing about how it looked like throw up? But it tasted so good. You were devouring it. You kept saying it looked awful, but you loved it. Do you not have a more heartwarming story, or...? I'm sorry, I'm really bad at this. Date, her heart rate is steadying. EEG is stable. Date, get into position. Let's begin. Oh, and Special Agent, I forgot to mention one thing. I added a new feature to the sync system. A new feature? You'll learn more when you're synced. It's very useful. Sure, got it. Date, you ready? Okay, ready anytime. Remember, Date, you have only six minutes in the Somnium world. Any longer, and your consciousness will be absorbed by the subjects. Yeah, I know. I'll find a lead and get out in under six minutes. We're counting on you. Well then, let's begin. What was that? Nothing. I was merely trying to enter the scene like a cybernetic assassin from the future. Well, if you're trying to do that, you'd have to do it naked. Is this... Bloom Park? Lightning in a birdcage. Maybe this is representative of Mizuki's state of mind. The fact that Shoko was killed here must weigh heavily on Mizuki's heart. Mizuki should be inside that column. To get the information we need, we will have to deal with the lightning and the cage and get to Mizuki. Move fast, or time is going to run out. Unnecessary. Look around. Look around? This is the new feature of sync that Pewter mentioned. You can stop time? Only when standing still. Time is moving incredibly slowly. Currently, you and I are transmitting information at high speed. So it only appears as though time has stopped. Are you familiar with the concept of time dilation? It has to do with relativity, right? Two people can experience time differently depending on space-time. This is similar to that. The flow of time in Somnium is different than the real world. This could be useful. You can only stay in Somnium for six minutes, right? But with this, you could take your time and explore. Let's get started. Somnium scan! Activate! To reach Mizuki, something must be done about the lightning that keeps striking the birdcage. Lightning's supposed to strike at the highest point. Hmm? An ice pick piercing Shoko's photograph. Aiba, the speaker over there. It's shaking. Hmm. I see. It must be connected to the ice pick. What do we do here? Healing Mizuki should be your top priority. I know. An ice pick stabbed into Shoko's photograph. Oh. 
you're right. No one would want to see their mother like this. Going. What is this? Something happened over there. The pillar became a lightning rod. It looks like we can get to the birdcage now. Our next step must be to remove it. Date, we got a timey. A timey? Time induction matter in Encephalon. You can think of it as an item that affects the flow of time. Using this, you can slow down or speed up time in Somnia. Is this another function pewter added? Correct. Sounds like a dream. Well, it is a dream. And because it is a dream, extraordinary things such as this are possible. Got it. Guess I'll try to use them where I can. is in awful shape. Ha! <laughs> Did the merry-go-round move as well? Is there a connection there? The control room of the merry-go-round lifted out of the ground. What is your plan once I am inside? It is a control room. Maybe we can do something in there. I do not think it will be that easy. Just try it. Didn't expect to see this inside. I do not see an exit either. But there's something suspicious here. I see two bird cages. Looks like there's something inside them. Take a look. A bird cage. There are ripped pieces of paper inside. Leave it to me. It is heavier than it looks. Nothing happened. All I did was move the cage. There are torn pieces of paper. Leave it to me. I enjoy puzzles like this. Done. But... Must be having a hard time. 
hard time. But the cage is gone. We can get to Mizuki now. Do you not see the horses spinning at hurricane speeds? You can do it if you try a little. No, you can't. All right, fine. We have to stop the spinning. Agent Date, you've got four minutes. The panda head is spinning. Bring it on. Stop! The centrifugal force is gonna tear it apart! I see! Spinning it makes it go faster! How do we slow it down? You have three minutes, Dante! The panda head... Maybe it's like the speaker before. I see. These were also linked. That's right. Mizuki! Let's go to her. Got it. merry-go-round horse. Excuse me, but do you happen to know the culprit? I see. Did you learn something? I did. Beyond a shadow of a doubt. Well? This horse. Cannot speak English. A merry go round. You have less than two minutes. Hurry! It's Mizuki! Mizuki.
Are you okay? Date. Date! <laughs> Looks like she can talk again. Aiba is linked to your brain with an artificial nerve. To put it more simply, Aiba is a part of your brain. During sinking, your consciousness is sent into the subject's somnium. Part of Aiba's self is also synced, but only a part. Not all of Aiba's functions are transferred into somnium. So that's why Somnium Aiba is so dumb. Don't call me dumb. Hey, Pewter. When we were in Somnium earlier, Iba was in human form. She's never looked like that before. That was Iba's idea. What? I thought you would be more pleased. I designed it to your taste. What well, part of that was my taste? I know everything inside your mind. You don't have to hide it. Pewter, Iba's broken. She's talking crazy. I am not broken. Perhaps Iba admires the human form. It's not that. It was just... a little something. I consider Kaname Date to be my host. I owe him gratitude. I simply thought that appearance would make him happy. Why would that make me happy? No, oh, that. I saw it too. Who or what do you think it was? Most likely someone Mizuki saw in person projected into her subconscious. Dreams can only be constructed from images and experiences the subject was present for. Mizuki Samian couldn't have contained that figure if she didn't see it in person. Of course, not everything we see in our dreams looks exactly the same as it did in the real world. You saw some strange things in Somnium earlier, didn't you, Dante? That event you experienced is obviously not as it happened in reality. Dreams are a collage of many memories, intertwining and blending with each other. Your skills as a sinker allow you to untangle those dreams and solve mysteries no one else can. In a normal dream, the person experiencing the dream cannot remove themselves from it. Dreams are first-person experiences. However, the circumstances are slightly different during a sink. The sinker dives into the subject's mind and experiences their subconscious thoughts. But this dream is experienced as an observer, as though you were watching a play. The subject is the author, director, and actor. The sinker is merely the audience. Peter, who do you think the culprit is? Well, let's see... Perhaps... It was you, Special Agent Dotty. What? <laughs> I'm kidding. How would I know? We still don't have enough information. Continue your investigation, Special Agent. No need to report specifics. 
We saw it all from here in the control room. What the sinker sees in Somnium is projected here, remember? We've got it all recorded. <laughs> Isn't it incredible? I invented it. Anyway, we know about the figure you saw. I wonder who that could be. Yeah, I'm glad she's talking again. You healed the wounds in her heart by sinking with her. Well, you meaning you and Iba. The boss has extraordinary perception. I deserve much of the credit for helping Mizuki recover her voice. All you did was follow my instructions. Date, Mizuki needs you. Protect her. Right, there was something. Hey, Mizuki, when we found you, you were holding the ice pick, right? Can you tell us why? When I got there, the ice pick was... It was... It was stuck in my mom's eye. I couldn't think straight. I... The only thing I could think was... I had to get it out. So, you panicked and pulled it out. Yeah. And you held on to it when you hid in the column. Yeah. Okay, just one more question. This is very important. When you pulled out the ice pick, was Shoko's eye still there? I'm pretty sure it wasn't. The eye socket was empty. Yeah. Thank you, Mizuki. That was very helpful. Boss shines in moments like this. She doesn't hesitate to ask anything. Now we know that Mizuki did not remove the victim's eye. When we got to the scene, it was definitely missing. And it has not yet been recovered. We can therefore conclude it has been removed from the scene. I told you, I'm fine. So annoying. I annoyed you already, huh? The pressure is annoying. What pressure? Force over area measured in Pascal's dummy. I see she is back to her usual self. Her attitude is within normal parameters. I think I liked her better when she was silent. I'm fine now, but I didn't forget your promise. A promise? Stu, you said you'd take me. So you heard that, huh? Aphonia only affects speech. Her hearing should still be intact. Sure, Mizuki. When we're all done here. I... I can't tell you. Why not? Because I don't want to. That's not a reason. You were at the scene of the crime because of that Nile message. Whoever sent it to you is a prime suspect. I don't think she is going to answer. When she is in a mood, it's impossible to get her to talk. That's the kind of girl she is. <sighs> Sometimes I think you know her better than I do. How long do you think I've been observing her? It's been four years now. Correct. I know things that even you do not know. Like? Actually, never mind. Some things I'm better off not knowing. By the way, we already looked into Mizuki's cell phone. Unfortunately, the contents were wiped. I'm tracing the sender of the Nile message through other means, but it's taking me some time. Say, Mizuki. Who was that figure I saw? What? Insomnia, in your dream. I saw a silhouette. Date, Mizuki would not understand the question. 
She does not experience Somnium as you do. You are witnessing a dream inside her brain. Never mind. Did you see anyone at the merry-go-round the night you found Shoko? I did. I saw someone... in the corner, past the merry-go-round. Who did you see? I don't know. It was dark and raining. They looked scary, so I hid inside the merry-go-round. The door was open a little bit, so I snuck in. Anyway, I get the story. Mizuki witnessed a suspicious person at the scene, but she didn't get a good look at them. Maybe there's something at the scene we missed. Date, could you return to the scene of the crime? There might be more to Bloom Park than we first thought.